Welcome back to my channel, Airshaw Graphics. Go ahead, hit that red and green button at the bottom. Subscribe to my channel. Yeah. So this tutorial is about offset. Hold up for a second. Yeah, this tutorial is gonna be about off contact. I say offset, my bad. <laughs> yeah, off contact. So I wanna get a little bit more specific about the off contacting and show you how it works because if it doesn't work, what's gonna happen is your print is not gonna come out clear. Instead, the edges of your print is gonna come out smudged. And when you look at it, sometimes it might look, it has a blurred look. And so you don't want that. You want everything to come out nice and crisp, just like this design right here. If you notice, you don't see any smudges or anything. Everything is nice and clear. And so it's very important to have that on, off contact. I've done an off contact video probably a few months back. So I, I have a lot of newcomers to my channel, so I want to go over the off contact again because I think uh, that's one of the most important subjects when it comes to screen printing. So what is off contact? Well, off contacting is when you leave space in between the screen and the t-shirt. Because your screen, when I bring it down, it doesn't supposed to lay flat right onto the t-shirt. You need at least about, about that much space in between the screen and your shirt, of course. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to show you how to set up the off contact. Move a few things out the way. I'm gonna bring my camera over to the side. Just like that. And I'm gonna see if I can lower my camera a little bit. Try and get my camera to parallel with the with my palette. I said about right here should be good. All right. Get it parallel. So I want everyone to understand what off contacting is and how it does it work. Now I'm gonna bring my camera in a little close. Hold up for a second. All right. So uh, when it comes to off contacting, Basically, I'm leaving room in between the board and the screen, or shall I say the t-shirt and the screen. And the way I go about doing that is there's a screw on my screen printer that I can adjust up and down, which is this right here. So if, if I want my screen to be a little bit higher, that I can adjust the screen just like this. I mean my screw just like that. That way when I bring the arm down, that helps the screen sit a little bit higher. And now when I bring it down, if you notice, I created more space. 
And that's probably what I will have to do when it comes to dealing with sweatshirts. Sweatshirts are a slight bit thicker than t-shirts, so I will have to adjust my screen. But right now, I'm dealing with long sleeve t-shirts. How does off contact work? I'm about to show you. So, when I bring my screen down, as I go across my squeegee, I'm gonna use my finger though instead of a squeegee. As I go across, just like that, the screen pops back up. If you notice how the screen pops back up, I'm gonna do it again. Bring my camera in closer. I'm gonna use my finger, I'm gonna press down just like that. As soon as I move my finger out the way, it pops back up. If the screen doesn't pop back up, what's gonna happen is there won't be, well, it'll create room and it'll allow the ink to bypass where it's supposed to stop, which creates a smudge in the printing. So now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna do a print. Right now I'm coating my screen. So I have my screen up a little bit. So I usually lift my screen up in order to coat it. Now I'm finna do the actual print. One stroke, just like that. See how the screen pops back up? And that's it. Now I'm using white ink on dark shirts, so I'm gonna need more than one coat. Probably about two more coats. If you notice, you can see the material through the white ink. That usually happens when you print on dark garments and so I will have to do a couple more coats so I'm gonna heat flash it right quick heat flash for about 10 seconds Now I'm gonna print a couple more times just to get the white to come out nice and bright. So if you notice how I go across my screen, the screen pops right back up once I go across my printing area. That's gonna give it a nice, crisp, clean print. Do it again. See how it pops up? It's gonna do it again. Pops right back up, just like that. Bam. And there you have it. Look at the edges of the print. Everything comes out nice and clear. No smudges or anything. See how clear that is? And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my channel, Airshaw Graphics. Subscribe to your boy channel if y'all feeling, feeling everything. Y'all like what I'm doing with the screen print and graphics. Go ahead, hit me up. Send your boy some likes. Show that love. If you got any more questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section.
All right, now.